Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Removal of salts from water. Desalination of brackish water. Desalination of brackish water. Please note that, desalination means, removal of salts, and, brackish water means, salty water. The process of removing salts, from salty water, is called desalination of, brackish water. There are two methods to accomplish this process. These are, electrodialysis, and, reverse osmosis. Electrodialysis. Under the influence of, direct electric current, transport of ions, from, one solution to other solution, through ion exchange membrane, is called electrodialysis. Electrodialysis. Into a container, cation exchange, and anion exchange membranes are fitted. Thus, the container is divided into three compartments. Sea water is fed into these three compartments. Electrodes are arranged and electrolysis is carried out. Now there takes place movement of ions towards oppositely charged electrodes. Cations move towards cathode through cation selective membrane and anions move towards anode through anion selective membrane. As a consequence, the central compartment will be free from salts that is desalination, while the side compartments are concentrated with salty water. Salt-free water, and saline water, will be drawn out separately. Advantages It is an economical method. It can be carried out at room temperature. It is a continuous process. Disadvantages Colloidal impurities cannot be removed by this method. If the supply of electricity is not continuous, then this method is not useful. If the cost of the electricity is more, then also this method is not viable. Osmosis If two solutions of different concentrations, are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, the movement of water takes place, from, low concentration, to, high concentration through a semi-permeable membrane, till the concentrations of the both solutions are equal. This phenomenon is called osmosis. Reverse osmosis. In the reverse osmosis, certain amount of hydrostatic pressure, in the order of 20 to 40 kg per centimeter square, which is more than, the osmotic pressure, is applied externally on the higher concentration side. Then, the movement of solvent takes place, from, higher concentration, to, lower concentration. This process is called as, reverse osmosis. Osmosis In a U-shaped tube, a semi-permeable membrane is fitted at the center. One side less concentrated solution, C1 is filled. On the other side, more concentrated solution, C2, is filled. Now there takes place movement of solution from low concentration to high concentration through the semi-permeable membrane till the concentrations of both solutions are equal. This process is called as osmosis. Reverse osmosis In a U-shaped tube, a semi-permeable membrane is fitted at the center. One side less concentrated solution, C1 is filled. On the other side, more concentrated solution, C2, is filled. Now the pressure is applied on the solution with higher concentration. As a result, movement of the solution from higher concentration to lower concentration through the semi-permeable membrane takes place. This process is called as reverse osmosis. Advantages of reverse osmosis, the water in the less concentrated side is free from colloidal and suspended impurities, because these impurities cannot travel through the semi-permeable membrane. The semi-permeable membrane is highly durable. Uninterrupted water supply is possible by this method. The capital cost, running cost and maintenance cost of this process are less. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.